Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. This is episode 46 of the Wacky Random Challenge. So, we did the Mercedes 190E last time around. Let us see where we will be and in what. We are going to the classic Mercs this time. So, the historic Touring RB 300 SEL 6.8 AMG. Where are we taking this old fella? We are going to... Oh dear. This is not going to suit this car. The Mojave Burr Ascent. I think, I think, I think this is the first time we've run Burr Ascent in this challenge. I think I tried to do it in one previous episode. Oh, at least it's dry. Heavy, well, normal fog at night. God, that's right on the border there. Fog at Night and Mojave Bear Ascent. I think I ended up with this combination once before, but I couldn't use the episode for whatever reason. Mojave Bear Ascent. Yeah, this the track does the track map rather there doesn't give it justice. It is really twisty. And it's very it's a lot of elevation if it's the one I'm thinking of. Right. Fog. Fo whoops. Fog at night. Uh, well I have headlights. Particularly in that first turn, the one you see on the left-hand side of the map there, he's devilishly tight. But we'll see if it is the one I'm thinking of, the one that is... I'm sure is a Boa Ascent, a clue in the name. Uh, he's the one that goes uphill by a very, very long way. And very steep as well. Lovely start. Big heavy car, this. Swap the little escorts out of the way. Oh, really tight first turn as I smash into a fellow Mercedes and I've pulled my wheel off my desk. <laughs> Oops, let's, let me just sort my wheel out here because that's just come completely off my desk. One moment, please. Let's tighten that back up again. Yeah. And there, that side. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just restart, because that's going to take me a fortnight to get out of that particular hole. Let's try that again, ladies and gentlemen. Wasn't quite so sharp off the uh, off the line there. Let's not barrel so heavily into the first turn this time. Oh, as I clunk into a... Oh, damn bots! Ow! Slow car. Yeah, this is the one I'm thinking of. It goes uphill by a quite a sharp ascent. Oh! Yeah, this car is going to suit the BMWs and the Escorts of this class. Not this thing or the Mustang. The descent will be fine, but the ascent, not so much. Not a very good uh, power to wait. Well, I'll say that. For its day, it had a pretty decent amount of power. But of course, it's extremely heavy. Oh, clunk into the BMW. This is the Bentley Continental of its day, essentially. Oh, sorry, Beamer. Oh, dear. Way overcommitted that. Oh, goodness me. Now you see why I said this track does not suit this car at all. So slow around that corner. Through. 
that gold coloured Mustang there. It's almost impossible to make some of the some of the turns in this car. I'd love to know what would actually race here. This track is so bonkers. Now you see why it's the way it snakes around the hillside. You are now you now see why it's called Boa Ascent. Boink. Round you come, round you come, round you come, come on. Not getting up to any real high speed before you're having to brake again is why it suits the smaller cars so much. Whoa! Because they get up to speed quicker than this thing does. Here you get a bit of speed. At least you get into top gear. Oh no, sorry, there's four, five gears in this one. I thought there were only four. So no, at no point do we get into top gear in this car. Kicking the tan out slightly. A very banana coloured Mustang. Whoa! Invent your own racing line, sir! Clunk. It'll be very fast, but uh, it does still kick its tail out. Come on. Oh, no. Not good. Not good. Oh, it'll do. So heavy the the grass barely slows this thing down. Better off putting sand there to slow this whacking great pleasure barge down. We're only just ha over halfway in the challenge. Oh, I'm still too deep considering how early I break for that. I felt really early anyway. Oh, lots of... lots of trouble. Merc on my inside there. There he is. <laughs> Bounced off him. Well, the only car this this thing will bounce off of is another Mercedes. I'm not even sure it would bounce too well off the Mustang. Oh, clunk. See how little my car deviated from its course then when I bounced off that beamer. How much that that little BMW spun around? Well, top half of the field at least. Uh, two laps to go, maybe. Oh no! Not good! Not good! Not good! Not good! Not good! Ow! That was top half of the field. <sighs> multi <-room. laughs> Okay. Oh dear. Ow. Okay then. 
didn't go very well at all. Well, in my usual style, I start okay and get worse. Your fast, faster flowing tracks, your Hockenheim Classics, Nords, Monaco, um, Monaco, Monza. How the earth do I mix up those two? <laughs> this thing in this class would be fantastic you've got a lot of straights to get up to the pretty high top speed compared to its stable mates. Oh, we can't whoops. Excuse me a little beam up. Final lap. Final lap. So long to slow this thing down. Whew, right. I know it's childish, but the, the Mercedes emblem on the front of the car always makes me think of like a crosshair from you know, whatever the German equivalent of the Spitfire was. Uh, not too good on my uh, history, unfortunately. Oh, come on. Messaging me on Steam there. Can't really answer you right now, good friend. Oh! No. I'm gonna get the banana coloured Mustang. You try to pull in front of me, you swine. Yeah, just got him. <laughs> that smoke looked black as opposed to tyre smoke. What was my lap time? 1.34. Oh, crikey, look at that. Nowhere near the top pace. Whew, that was hard work. <laughs> Next car, then. Just going to answer my friend. Okay, next up is the 300SL from the historic GT3s. Okay. Where are we going this time? We're going to Hockenheim National. Okay, that's no bad thing. In the rain. Oh, better than storm, just. Okay, Hockenheim National in the rain. Oops. Hockenheim National... What does it cut out? Oh, yeah, it's that one that cuts the that hairpin out. Uh, 29 is all I can have. Rain... In the day. Well, this car is meant to slide, so it's certainly going to be doing that. In, uh, in abundance, probably. Right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Crossing the pit entry, exit mine, penalty. Okay, don't need to break quite that early, even with gold tyres. Right, 
this is where I always get caught out. Of course, I'm expecting to follow the parabolica all the way around, and of course we don't. Way too early. Oh, yeah. The suspension's soft enough to deal with that little bump there that rejoins the main track. Tires warm up pretty quick. This is uh, a refreshing change. is nowhere near as slidey as I thought it would be. I thought it would be trying to kill me at every corner and it really isn't. I mean probably due in part because it's obviously a much slower car than quite a, a lot of the library but even still I mean you look at the size of the wheels look they're tiny. Let's get the right camera and let's move on. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong one. There we go. Merk, 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 merk. Ha, ha, ha. Right. Yay, starting on a bend. Oh, that was so nearly a jump start. I never noticed that before, though. Weird flap in the roof. Look what that's for. They didn't think of downforce back in this era. There's nothing to do with... Whoa! A lot of people going wide there. So there's nothing to do with that. It's got to be something to do with airflow in the car. Not aerodynamics, as in, you know, something for the driver. See? A lot of people going wide. Oh, try and get through and... Number 18, Andy, T Andy Tetley. Yes, that is an indeed Andy Tetley. I'm relying on the uh, firefight display of brake lights basically to tell me where the corner was because I couldn't see very much in the spray. As far as track, uh, as, far, oh, as far as the edge of the track was concerned. Take the brake board with me, why not? Oh, clunk. Oh dear, sorry, number 24. Sorry, John Nelson. Round we go. Yeah, I'm really surprised, actually, at the level of grip this car is giving me. Very, very genuinely surprised. I really thought I'd be sideways a lot more than I am. But knowing me, now that I've said that, now that I've said it a few times, uh, I'm now overdue a appointment with the gravel trap. An appointment with the grass, at the very least. Just turned into 11th then as I crossed the line. Oh, no, that's off. Thank you, everybody. It's. As you would expect, it takes a long time to slow this thing down. Get off. The fact that I'm pushing you is not the point. The field is spreading out quite surprisingly because everything is a single car. Single car field. <coughs> Despite the fact it's wet, I'm still not locking up when I stamp on the anchors. I don't want to push my luck in that respect though. Like that. I 
actually quite enjoying this one. Not, well, not that I thought that I wouldn't, but like I say, I just expected to be sliding much more. And we all know how well I do with cars that like to go sideways. Number 11. Side by side with Jonas Tischner, or however you say that. On the inside, and Alex Lindstrom. Nail you as well, thank you. Fifth. Happy days. Probably attack that a little harder than I did. Catch up with Walton. Walton, however, it's scrap it. Way. Alongside me, isn't he? Oh no, there he is. Ah! Slow down! Oh, it was too late with the turn in as well. Oh, no, I clanked into the wall in the end. No, I was doing so well. Whoops, a second. Oh, I was up to fourth, now down to twelfth. Oh, man. Uh, I doubt I'm going to have time to catch all of that back up again. I will certainly get back into the top ten. There's only one car away, I grant you. Excuse me, Tyrone Hesbrock. I even had to look to make sure I didn't have drive raids on by accident, and no, sure enough, I don't. That was a silly move. Should never have attempted that one. That was only ever going to end badly. And that could have gone far worse. Whoa, is uh, Mateus Jacob going very wide there? Two laps to go. Oops. A bit of a cut there. Going. Past Paul Cooper. And Alex Lindstrom again. Hit the brakes a bit too early there. Whoa! Now that's the first time the tail's actually kicked out. Well, it's the first time it's kicked out like that. Here is Titchener again. I might get back up to fourth. Same place as last time. At least not as disastrous as last time. Ow! And pushing too hard to try and make up the time. That's of course making me make a mistake and making me make a mistake. I am making mistakes because I am trying too hard. Whoops! My fault. Still there somewhere. Oh, crikey. Just kept it on the black stuff. Come on. Just settle into the groove. Don't push too hard. Final lap, whoops. If I hadn't have made both of those colossal mistakes, I might, 
might have squeezed another lap out of this car. Would have been tight. Look at where the leader is. I could have been leading this one. Never mind. It's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? Nice, a couple of tens up. Was four tens up the first split, but never mind. Minor detail. I'm gonna do it again. Couldn't even use another car to help slow me down. As I send Paul Cooper off into the into the outback, into the forest. Sorry, sir. On we go. 1.4 up. Somehow. Come on. That was silly. I managed to get away with it. Oh! Kind of. Oh, what might have been for this car. Still good fun though. Whoops. I'm slightly wide that. Yeah, I left that too late to try and throw that in. Oh, still good fun though. Still enjoyed that. But that is it for this episode. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment and all that good stuff. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.